So this is uh, the process, uh, ultramarine blue and some turquoise into the sky to pull out the clouds, making the clouds further away smaller. And I pretty much just blocked in some of the colors. Of course, this is all undercoat. Um, and now the layering process, which means I will go into each one of these little areas, put down color, pull it out, go back in, pull it out, highlights, shadows, until it looks right to me. Um, and then, technically, the real test and time is just constantly looking and looking and looking to see what works for me and what doesn't. So, <clears throat> came into the, the clouds. Now, what I did is kind of blend out. Okay, so I don't know if this is the very tips to make it almost like a bright white. So we'll just get kind of a, a grain on the bottom. And of course, this is a slow process, just kind of going back and forth, looking for some shadows in the clouds, trying to figure out what needs to be heightened, blended a lot of other things. Again, just a slow process of trying to figure out what the clouds would look right to me. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to come into this right here just to show the process. So I'm just softening the edge, wiping it off. It's not too much water. Blending it out, blending it. Now, if I want to define the edges, let's see if I can get in closer. I'm gonna come in here and just slowly pull out Now I need to get rid of that blue edge. So that just means coming in. And then blending it out. Anyway, that's... Now there's a variety of ways to do clouds. <clears throat> um, this is just one more way. Okay, so I'm just going to work in this little area right here. This is what it started off as. Now I'm just coming in with a little bit of a reddish brown. I don't know if you can see that. And that will be blended in. Eventually. Right in here. And just blend this out some. Now 
Now I did go into this little area right here. So what I'm gonna do is kind of tone it down, blend some of that together, some of it out. I'll go back in here and just add a little bit of this darker brown. What I don't want to do is have those two intense highlights. This will all be reworked. But again, same technique for cranes, rocks, oceans, butterflies, just about anything I do is this same technique. Now, I have to stress upon the fact that, again, I am making it look easy, and it's not. Now, even though I'm showing these techniques, and making it look easy, it is how I paint, but you have to remember, when you do this, you will have your own signature. It's like everybody that signs their name, it looks different because it's your brain and your, your hand together. Now you can reproduce that signature multiple times and it'll look exactly the same or as close to being exactly the same. Same thing with this. This is my signature, how I get my hand to, you know, get to like the 20 cups of coffee and move back and forth and go random. I see highlights, I pull them out, I see shadows. I, I want to downplay the shadow some. Um, so again, this is my technique and my signature. Um, but you could still do this, but it'll look different similar but different because of your signature as a painter that's why all artists have a unique look it's because of the color palette that they use or how their hand moves with their brain um, that's how you can tell a Renoir from a Manet or a Monet or Cezanne or all those other impressionist painters uh, it's similar but it is different because of their hand, brain, palette, and technique. Anyway, so that's kind of stop there. So I'm going to be working <clears throat> some of the detail on this side now. Um, kind of slowly kind of go into this. Now I'm just adding some reddish brown. Again, this will be in layers, and I'll be pulling colors out and in. Now, kind of off the subject, but um, I guess I should say something about something that bothers me, probably bothers a lot of artists. Um, that one little sentence. How long did that take? And sometimes I really don't know how to respond. Um, with friends, I, I, I try to give them an estimate of the time. Now, um, none of my paintings, I, I just don't start my paintings 
from one sitting and just go from start to finish and it's like okay well it took me you know six hours eight hours ten hours um because it just doesn't work that way and you know it, it depends on the subject now obviously there are some things that go a little quicker um and People don't realize that, um, say, if I'm going to paint a dinosaur, <laughs> I'll just take that for a kind of a, pulling out the color right here. You just don't start painting a dinosaur. <laughs> I know it sounds funny. You just, you, people just think, oh, well, I need a dinosaur. Uh, just kind of make me a dinosaur. It doesn't work that way. What happens is... Um, I have to do the research. I have to do kind of um, figure out the colors. I have to, it, it, there's so much that goes into that. Um, I have to do countless sketches to see what works before paint even hits the, the paper or the board and it's kind of like, it's really hard to explain that to people. They, a lot of people, and I, and I, I know they mean well, um, but it's kind of, <laughs> it's, it, it's really weird. And, you know, if they're friends, like, you know, I, I know they're, they're, they mean no harm. Um, some people, now these are, I'm going to be saying people I don't know. Um, I will say, how long would it take you to do that? Um, because, you know, that is kind of the right response. You know, it's not like how much time did I take to do it? It's how long would it take you to do it? So I'm kind of pulling out the color right now and blending. Coming down, getting rid of that stream highlight so um it's it's i kind of think of it as if you were in court with a lawyer and he does his job and you're done in 20 minutes um and the, you have to pay the lawyer like a third of what if you would, were to make, and you saying, well, uh, we were only in court for 20 minutes. Why, why do you get a third? <laughs> um, it, that's what it feels like to me. Um, and, you know, it, it, it's kind of, and that for me is, is a little rude, but, you know, hey, um, asking me some personal questions is, is from a stranger is kind of not a a kind thing to do but and there are some people that are, you know it, it depends on their demeanor um you know some people are you know it's just curious and i understand that and i try to be as nice as possible um coming in with some little striation colors right here Coming in with some shadows. In here. And some people I say, you know, 55 years. That's how long it took me. Because technically, I couldn't have painted this painting um, five years ago. 10 years ago, 20, 40 years ago, I wouldn't have been able to do this. This is over since I've been painting, you know, getting a little bit better every, every year or every five years. And have you seen my studio tour? You saw one that I was working on for 20 years and redoing it. And you could see the difference from what I was painting 20 years ago to what I'm painting now. And you can see there's an 
obvious growth in that. Um, now, another thing. Um, uh, I've given hundreds of paintings away to friends, people that have inspired me. And, and that's just something that artists do. And that's what I've done most of my life. And I know some people really appreciate it. Um, but sometimes people, and this is just people, can't really, if they get something for free, it doesn't have as much value. Now, if some people, those people actually knew when I was making a living as a real artist, not a teacher, um, sometimes artists are paid very well. And I do, I used to do a lot of corporate art, you know, working for museums, aquariums, and I didn't have any fear of saying what, you know, because I had an idea what and how long things would take. Um, anyway, um, since I retired, uh, I haven't sold anything in the last 15 years. I've just been concentrating on a teacher thing. Um, now that giving away of, of paintings, it's over. I will not give away anything anymore. Um, anyway, um, and I'm not going to sell anything either. I'm not, <laughs> I know you see some of these YouTube videos where, you know, they're trying to talk to you and then all of a sudden, you know, my sponsor is this type of product, you know, I, and, and they're hawking, you know, their website and, and I guess people, you know, need to do that. I understand that. But for me, I just want to share and do what I've always done, teach. Um, even taught at the museum. Um, now, anyway, uh, that, I'm just going to stop it here because this video is getting way too long. Anyway. Um, take care. I don't know if you can see that. Now, I'll be pulling out some highlights here and blending a little bit more and doing some small striations in here, just like the other side. Um, yes, I could definitely see that there's going to be a highlight in here and pull out some in here. But anyway, so take care, be safe. Um, bye.